if you like Starlink, you probably like SpaceX, and SpaceX just had a huge win. NASA selected SpaceX to send the Artemis astronauts to the moon. Three, two, one, zero. Ignition, lift off. So it's official, SpaceX will be building the spacecraft to put astronauts on the moon. So back in 2020, the year that we all really want to forget about, NASA awarded contracts to three different commercial teams, SpaceX, Dynetics, and Blue Origin, and this was for the agency's human landing system program. And so these companies were each tasked with designing their own landing system to ferry astronauts down to the lunar surface of the moon. So SpaceX and Starship beat out the two other competitors, winning the $2.9 billion contract to design the Artemis Lunar Lander. And I reached out to Jonathan McDowell, a Harvard astrophysicist and astronomer, to get his thoughts on this. In fact, he was a little bit surprised, but he explains to me why he thinks that SpaceX got the contract and what this means and what a more realistic timeline he believes we could see. For a lot of us, the, the guess would be that it would be the Blue Origin team that would get it. It had all the traditional big aerospace companies, the you know, and Blue as the new one. Part of the reason SpaceX got picked was the reduction in funding that Congress provided for the program by not giving them that much money. And so if, if you want to go to the moon soon on that much money, you better pick the one that's much cheaper than the others. I mean, the reason why it, it, it's uh, allegedly much cheaper and allegedly much more capable is that it's a huge leap in technology. And they haven't actually made that huge leap yet. They've got, to, they've got to prove it. And so in that sense, the Blue Origin proposal, although it had problems, it was more conservative. So under the Trump administration, the goal was to get this all done by 2024. The Biden administration hasn't clarified if that will be pushed back a little bit, but Jonathan McDowell seems to think that there is a very big chance that 2024 is a little bit overly optimistic. How long is it going to take to get Lunar Starship working? I don't think the goal is realistically 2024 anymore. And I believe we might get Lunar Starship ready in three Elon years, but that's like 10 regular years, right? I mean, <laughs> you look at Boca Chica and you look at the low altitude Starship test vehicles and they're very spiffy and they don't look entirely different from the nice rendering of the Lunar Starship. But they are a long way from uh the you know, first just propulsively right they're still working out how to make these methane engines work reliably the problem with methane is like hydrogen it's a very small molecule so it's good at finding small leaks compared to say kerosene and then it's it's in an earth atmosphere environment it's good at going bang <laughs> when when it finds such a leak as we've seen right uh, they will solve it but it's tricky and it requires learning you know, learning how to stop the leaks, how to find the leaks. But even once you've got a perfectly flying vehicle that can land and not blow up and things like that, right? You need a life support system, right? So Starship right now is just a shell. And so you've got to build your whole spaceship. So I am so excited to see astronauts on the moon. Obviously, this is something that I haven't witnessed in my lifetime, but I will be able to soon. And I want you to comment below, uh, would you want to go to the moon if you could? Does that idea kind of creep you out? Does that scare you a little bit? Or is that like totally a bucket list thing that if it were a possibility someday, you would be all over it? comment below and let me know. I love reading your comments and I also love getting ideas from you guys. I have had some people email me some great ideas for videos. I really appreciate that. And until then, I will be working on more content to keep you guys in the loop with what's going on. If you wanna stay in the loop, hit subscribe. And until then, I'll see you soon.